Here's Johnny. <laughs> so I, uh, I noticed that you guys definitely really enjoyed the last couple of Escape from Tarkov videos. Um, absolutely zero complaints, which was nice to see. Anyway, I thought I'd come back to it and I haven't played it in a little while. And uh, I thought it's about time I give another chance, so here we are. If I remember correctly, you're supposed to do the scab things first, so let's go to uh, uh, Shoreline. Also, uh, I've learned that you're not supposed to shoot other scabs, like they're kind of friendly. Um, so that's something that's good as well. Okay, so I need to keep my eyes open for other scabs. Because, uh, yeah, like I said, they shouldn't shoot me. They're friendly or neutral, whatever. Wait, this thing doesn't have iron sights. Oh, what kind of pistol it doesn't have iron sights on it? What kind of sick game are you playing here, developers of this game? Oops, sorry, man. I don't have a backpack, I don't have a pouch. So, it looks like we'll be leaving that thing behind. Okay, well, I can't really hold anything more now, so... I'm just gonna try to get back to the safe zone. Or the extraction point. So I can at least get this gun and all the bullets back. Because uh, my inventory is in a bit of a grim state at the moment. It's not looking real good at all. While we're on our journey, let me tell you a story. I was once a boy, lost in the wilderness. And then he came across one of these things. Hey, I know where I am now. Wait, ooh, there's someone up there. See, does, is he bad? Is he gonna try to shoot me? Or other, like, is he considered friendly? This is what confuses me. Um, like, are there scavs and then there's bad people? Or all just, all NPC scavs? I suppose there's only one way to find out, right? Okay, well, it looks like these guys aren't gonna hurt me, I don't think. I'm just gonna walk on through. Hello. Ha. Oh man, I kind of want these guns and stuff though, not gonna lie. Hmm. What do I do? Should I just go through and like, guarantee myself the best on bullets? Or do I just headshot these two dudes right now? This is a hard decision. Fuck it. I'm gonna kill these two dudes. And then I'll have to worry about the dude up there. Oh god. I changed my mind. Look, don't worry guys, I'm friendly. Come on, come back this way. Man, that's a juicy looking backpack. That's gonna look really good on me. No, stop moving around. Oh my god, you're making this so much more difficult than what it needs to be. Just go back to standing together so I can kill you. Yes. Come back, join your friend. Like a pro. Shit. Is that a major set? Clear light him up. And thankfully, this dude fell down, so I should be able to loot his body. There he is. Ooh. Alright, I'm not gonna be too greedy. I'm gonna take all this stuff and vamoose. Da -na 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 -da -na -na. Look at this. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Man, I haven't played in like a month. Come in straight away, first round. Mmm. Smoking. I mean, I may have had to betray like all my friends to get all this stuff, but I mean, what do they care? They're NPCs. Look at me. I am the escape from Tarkov professional now. This game is actually not half bad when you're not fucking dying 24 7 and losing all your stuff. Okay, I think I'm gonna go in with some juicy stuff this time, so. I might actually take this gun out. I know I only just got it, but fucking YOLO, you know what I'm saying? Really need to get a stock because that's another thing that I remember uh, when I was streaming. If the gun doesn't have a stock, it's like super inaccurate or some shit. Actually, you know what? I'm not gonna take that out then. That gun's gonna be pretty useless until I get a stock for it, so I'll just stick with this. All right, we're good. Let's go escape from Tarkov and stuff. <laughs> Man, this is an interesting time of day. I don't think I've played when it's been this, uh, this time. Normally it's nice and bright and lit up. But it's looking a little bit, a little bit grim. Um, I know where that is. That takes you down to the petrol station. Alright, let's go that way. I know for a fact there's always people at the, uh, at the petrol station. I don't know. I'm kind of just speaking out of my arsehole right now. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I don't work here. 
but he's firing off a pistol not far from here. I'm guessing it's coming from whatever that is over there, like a little town. I mean, I could go over and look. It's sort of out of the way, though. Oh, okay, it just gave away my position. If it wasn't so dark, I might look for him more, but I feel like he's just going to be in one of those buildings waiting to jump scare me. And, uh, your boy doesn't do too well with jump scares. I'm wearing depends as we speak. Not a matter of if they're here. It's a matter of where they're here. I'm not sure if that actually makes sense, but... You know what I'm saying. Oh, he's even like... Oh, okay, he's... I can't walk because I've been shot in the leg. Oh my god. I don't know how I did it, but I killed both of them. I thought there was only one. Using a shoddy. Search that. All these shotgun shells don't. Oh my god. Now, I noticed they shot me in the leg as it went all red. I was trying to get up and sprint away, but it wasn't letting me, so I kind of just assumed that my leg was injured, but no, that was not the case. It just didn't want me to get up. What you got for me, pappy? Fuck load more shotgun shells. I don't suppose this is an extraction zone. <laughs> Dang. I think my game's just crashed, hasn't it? Why have you done this to me? Hello, you giant piece of shit. I still have time to reconnect. Oh my god, go! This is a miracle bestowed upon me from God himself. Let's get the fuck out of here. Well, I can't see a single goddamn thing. Uh, so it's going to be a little bit problematic for when I get to the end and there's three dudes just chilling there waiting for me. Uh, let's be honest, it's fucking Escape from Tarkov NPCs. They don't fuck around. This looks like it could be... An escape zone, right? Yep. Not an escape zone. Okay, I'm pretty sure I just have to get past this last building. And we'll be very, very close. Unless, of course, this is the zone right here. God damn it. Now, there's going to be one time where I actually say that and it'll come true. Okay, there's a dude down there. Don't look over this way. Oh, my fucking god. Fuck you, goddamn Terminator, son of a bitch. Blood loss, pain. Uh. Or you just use it, you don't actually apply it. What the fuck is this piece of shit? Okay, just use the bandage, but it did nothing. We need to get the fuck out of here. We need to get to the extraction zone, like now. Or I'm gonna bleed out. Because I got no medkit left. Probably should have brought another one, but you know, lesson learned. Man, I can't really afford to be sneaky as I wanted to be around here, but... <sighs> so here we go, because I just need to get the fuck out. Not a good situation. God, you really are Mr. Big Dick. I don't really have time to loot them. Even though I really want to. I'm taking his AK. And I'm getting the fuck out of here. God, there's still someone around here. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Oh my God. I fucking got out with everything. Holy shit, the odds were so stacked against me just then. I was playing at night time, I disconnected, I was bleeding, and I still killed those two dudes at the end and snagged me an AK. This actually feels really good, like, I feel like I'm learning stuff, I'm actually making progress. I'm actually using, you know, I'm actually using meds and stuff. I'm feeling like doing what we used to do back in the, back in the old day. Let me bloody tell you. Just run it with an axe and swing everywhere, you know? Oh. Why'd I have to suck such huge dicks? In me. Will you give it to me? Look at my own reflection. We 
and suddenly it changes. Violently it changes. Oh, no. 